all my goofy silly tail self decided to watch TikTok and stay up till 8 7 in the morning. No one I gotta get up at 10, probably like 9 to get ready for a brunch at 11 or 1. And I'm spending time right there with my family. How am I gonna go to sleep? When am I gonna get time to go to sleep? I'm not hearing anything. Cricket. I'm so tired. My hair is not even hairing like I wanted to hair. My lashes are, are not even lashing like I wanted them lash. I'm not even making sense. I'm literally tired. I wanted to cry so much last night. Hormones are acting up and I'm irritable. And it's a week before my period. Man, just be mad, just be mad. Like resting is gonna be my face. I to introduce myself to my channel. I probably should. It's 10 on 3. We have to leave the house by 10.45. I just need to wet my bangs, stick my bangs out, and throw my hair up, I guess. <laughs> I'm so tired. It don't make no sense. Oh, so my nails are done. I did like a fall theme. So if you guys wanna see that, then be sure. These look better on this side, cause you know it's color. Just be sure to just take that out. Oh, you wanna see that? And I'm on my rubber band, so there's that. My lips look trapped. Um, this is not gonna. I'ma just rush and get ready and hop back on this camera. But I sing a lot. I we like the eight away banging hour. my drums now. Right. Try to tell me that I can't, then I know I can. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. All of my hours on TikTok paid off. <laughs> no, it really didn't because I'm gonna be tired. I'll get out. But hair is done. Lashes are restored, and I feel like that be it. Cause we what we did it. I was on a mission. 10:48, so er, er. but I'm gonna throw on these leggings and we finna go. We finna be out here. You are a unique queen. Walk and operate as a royalty that you are. Don't lower your standards or your expectations. The Lord said when we walk in expect expectancy, we'll set an experience. Blessings, peace, joy, and love. It just makes sense, I guess, because how my love life was set up prior to this. I just was not. I was, my standards was up here, and I was just like, okay, settling for less. And I've been doing that for the past little minute. So I said, okay, I gotta really understand that, you know, no, I'm not asking for too much. I'm asking the wrong person. So I just had to realize that, and that I am a queen. You work as mm -hmm. Our generation, dating, <laughs> I just don't even know no more. So I just said, you know, I'm gonna take a break on that. And I'll see TikToks and they'll just speak on what I'm going through. I'm just like, you know what? This is a sign I need it. I'm gonna go ahead. Mm -hmm. Block and delete. Block and delete. But I wish that I knew what y'all are getting to know. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the wounds and scars that's not visible outwardly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have. Because I would have known who I was then. 
and I, and I didn't, and nobody could really tell me because they didn't understand like that. I mean, we grew up in a generation with daddies that were alcoholics and mamas that was holding it together. That's what you saw. Then I saw single women raising kids, strong single women. When you couple that with all the other dynamics about what I'm not going to put up with, what I ain't going to do, then I'm still carrying so much baggage that I don't even realize that I'm carrying. So for y'all to have the opportunities that y'all have now to be like, does my standard choke deuces? And even dating, like if you didn't bring nothing to the table, if I already had a job or a club in some other state and you couldn't increase my quality of living, yeah, all you could do was take me to a nice restaurant like me and Booney went on these two blind dates one night. And we didn't tell each other that we went and ended up at the same restaurant. And we didn't want nobody to know who was with. Nobody to know. They were not cute. But they were not cute. 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 And she my daughter is 25. And she says the same thing. Mama, people don't think they just hook up. Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean you just hook up? She's like, that's what they do is just hook up. So I said, Aaliyah, if women stop lowering their standards, yeah. if, if the women are the one that has the control, because it's more of us than it is of them. Yeah. So we as a female, and everybody just shut it down. Mm -hmm. Somebody have to come forward that's for you. So well, mama, that ain't happening. So what's the next thing? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't happening fast enough. Aaliyah, you just have to wait to God said, Mom, you've been sitting there for a long time. I said, <laughs> <laughs> he has to, he, God has to send it. Put your standards, you gotta just stay with it and stay firm. And the other thing I, I told Aaliyah was, get out so much social media. That life does people live in, they lying. Mm -hmm. They're yeah, yeah, they they not yeah, lying. Yeah, they yeah. doing something else that's probably not godly and not ethical. I said all that to say is, God gonna give to you, give you what you need at the time what that you need. need. It ain't, it ain't the right time because we keep trying and she's the same way she keep trying to push it. So it's so get married. My roommate from college get married. Oh, and they might be in a mess. Yeah. Yeah. I said just just chill out. Just just wait. Strong to but I'm now it makes sense because if you try to rush it, nine times out of ten, you're busy doing your life. It's gonna be a distraction and it's gonna be another lesson and you're gonna be like, dang, I should've I should've known and now I gotta go sit here in therapy and talk about what you done did to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least y'all got therapy. Yeah, yeah, I, just, yeah. yeah I just got moved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you know you don't want though so when it comes to you and it's not what you want cut it off already it's nothing wrong with saying i don't think this is going to work he won god's best for me he wanted that he was bad he just won god's best for me and i want god's best for him and it, it's like when i accepted that it just it dispelled all that I did this and I did that, or I did, you know. I feel like a lot of younger women, we fantasize this man up in our head, like, oh, well, he could be this and potential and potential and potential, and then yeah. he's showing you something totally different. The words are not matching yeah. with the action. That's I don't right. understand. When you like a person, you you try to ignore all the little signs and stuff of them not being what you really want for, like, oh, well, I do like him. Like, you know, I like him a lot. If it's somebody you don't like, one little thing, oh, he left the door open too long for me. I just, right. he, I'm, he out of the way. But somebody you like, well, he didn't even open the door for me, but he's so fine. He's so cute. Yeah, I had to let that go. Give us a discerning spirit like never before. Let us have traveling mercy and arriving grace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 So we're back from the little Mothers and Daughters Day brunch that we had today. It was from 11 to 1. I feel like just being able to sit in a room full of women of from all different ages and all different backgrounds to just sit there and talk and just instill wisdom in me about what they went through and what they have accomplished and where they are right now. It's just like... It just makes my heart swell too. And also even putting my input of what I've learned and done helped me feel less alone and less lost where I'm at. I was also given this book. It's an I Am Inspiration and Affirmation Journal. And basically it just says, I am new, unique and wonderful. And then it's a Bible verse here. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your, work are, your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So yeah, that's it through and through. But what really happened that really blew my mind was the woman who made this book, she wrote in the flap a little short message to each of the 
women there, including myself, and we do not know her. We have never met her, but she was able to literally leave a message that spoke to each individual person about where they were at. Like, and it's just like that whole like being a spiritual being and just passing down information that needs to be passed down and you just being the vessel. So she basically said, Angela, that I'm a unique queen and that to not lower my standards or expectations, which was so crazy to me because I've had an issue dealing with love life surrounding that this week and just for the past couple of months 2021 yeah love life mm -mm, just not there at all really so she does not know me we're not friends on facebook like i've never met this woman i feel like that was a really good thing about it the food was very nice just the atmosphere in itself was very nice and i just love having those like those times that we spend together just to talk and chat and just just sit in a room where women and still wisdoming you what do you mean like that's like going to your grandma's house in the afternoon and she just instead of wisdoming you about where you are at if you're struggling in school and life in general like just so much goodness and with good food like what because you know when you go to your grandma's house she makes sure to have the food for you she makes sure you ate and she makes sure that you're okay because grandmas what they can do is they can tell when something's off in your life and they're able to sit there and be like oh yeah something's off with my baby and i'm gonna talk to them they may not talk to me but i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna say something and it'll trigger them and it'll set them off to where they're just like wow you know give you an analogy about life and next thing you know you're just like wait that's speaking on what i'm going through i've never even said a word to her about what i'm going through that is just so nice i love it all that to say i have not had no sleep i'm surprised that i even stayed up during the little brunch i think the sleep's gonna come now because if it don't come now it's gonna be irritated later on tonight and we have things to do with family so i can't be sleepy it's too something i don't think i'm gonna get back up until it's time for us to go to the little bonfire i could say i'm gonna sit here and edit but that's just lying and i ain't gonna cap to y'all on this youtube i'm gonna knock out cut my fan on cut these blinds and knock out until my mama call me and tell me jella it's time to go that was just a small little recap of the brunch and what we all talked about in, in different things and i just i love it i just love i just love it wisdom for free given to me well it wasn't free we did pay for like the food and the book and everything but that type of wisdom those types of talks you can't put a price on it you can't at all and those type of talks where it just flows into more knowledge and more knowledge about this aspect and this aspect like every time we meet and talk it's like i always need what they're saying their testimony where they've been at and it's just so I am finna go off in a different rant. Anyways, see y'all when we at the bonfire. I'm finna take the pillow and KO. See you, toodles. <laughs>